Hi guys, this is Richardson again in Sun Science. So in the video, we will see UPES spectroscopy. That is UV photoelectron spectroscopy of some molecules. So if you look at the molecules, photoelectron spectroscopy, we will see spectrum. So we will see the molecular orbital diagrams. We will discuss this in the video. So we will discuss this in the video. So, in PES spectroscopy, we will be able to talk about PES spectroscopy, just a short explanation. So, this is the metal surface. So, I am using a UV source light. I am using the electron is ejected from the metal surface. So, in PES, excited electron is ejected completely instead of remaining in higher energy level of the molecule. So, this is just metal surface, solid, it can be gaseous or even liquid. So, this is the PES spectrum. But, so, this is the UV source we use, this is the cell spectrum we use. That is how we analyze it. Only with two basic assumptions we can detect the spectrum. Only we need the information about the presence of the electron either in bonding molecular orbital, anti-bonding molecular orbital or non-bonding molecular orbital. Orbital, अंगर कान पागन। Suppose, ना ये नोड इलेक्ट्रॉन है वंदे, so UV light पास पनी, if it is removed from the non-bonding molecular orbital, so non-bonding electron है remove पन्ना अब दी ना, ये ने के a single sharp peak with no progression is obtained. इधे, ना वंदे bonding molecular orbital या anti-bonding molecular orbital लंदे इलेक्ट्रॉन है remove पन्ना अब दी ना, a broad spectrum, अदा तो रोंबा broad नहीं ला, a little broad spectrum with progression is obtained. So, that's what we'll see. So, every non-bonding and bonding electrons, suppose HCL, this is the HCL is in bonding, so it is bonding electrons, and here one is non-bonding electron, and we have the anti-bonding electrons. So, if we remove non-bonding electrons, we get a sharp peak with no progression. Anti-bonding and bonding, we get a little broad spectrum with progression. So, which will correspond to different ionization energies other than our binding energy number in the spectrum. So, we will discuss the 5 molecules. Discuss. So, first N2 molecule discuss. So, we will discuss the electronic configuration of the molecule. If you have least energy, I will neglect this. I will take this one. So, this is the molecular orbital and that is the corresponding labeling. Now, we will discuss the electrons or the antibonding molecular orbital. So, it will not give any band in the spectrum. So, Pi G will not give any band. Now, we will discuss the non-bonding orbital. If I remove the electron, I get the first band. If I remove the non-bonding electron, I get a sharp band peak with no progression next band 2 இங்க பாருங்க it is a bonding molecular orbital so bonding molecular orbital இந்த நான் electron remove பண்ணா bonding molecular orbital இந்த electron remove பண்ணா bond order என்னாகும் கம்மியாகும் bond order கம்மியாச்சினா bond strength கம்மியாகும் அப்படி bond strength கம்மியாச்சினா stretching frequency of the molecule will also decrease என்ன n triple bond n less ஓதுரு bond order நம்ப கம்மி பண்ணிரும் bonding molecular orbital இந்த எடுக்கிறது நால so அனல bond strength கொரைது so அதனால stretching frequency யோ நம்பிலுக்கு கொரைது so இது ஒரு information இது வந்து கடைகிது next அர்த்துது பேருங்க இது sigma star which is an anti-bonding molecular orbital so இதில் இருந்து நான் electrons எடுத்தேன் அப்படியினா எனக்கு I'll get a broad spectrum with progression so இத்த நம்மலுடை N2 molecule UPS spectrum so இங்கப் பாருங்க sigma G we have one band then for pi U we have one more band and for sigma U we have one band so next நம்ம O2 molecule discuss பண்ணலா so O2 molecule ஓட molecule orbital diagram வந்துடன் you can write the electronic configuration on your own as we did for N2 molecule so now இதோடு label symmetry species each orbital label பண்ணியாச்சு so இங்க anti-bonding molecular orbital இந்த நான் suppose electron remove பண்ணேன் அப்படினா எனக்கு இதுக்கு ஒரு band கடைக்கும் with a little broad spectrum with progression so we have a band here then இங்க பாருங்க bonding molecular orbital so இதில் இந்த நான் electron remove பண்ணேன் so it will also result with the progression with a little broad spectrum then sigma g 2p orbital அதில் இந்த நான் electron remove பண்ணிரு I get a band here கரட்டா so we have 4 bands totally so இங்க பாருங்க anti-bonding molecular orbital இந்த electron remove பண்ணிரு it will not affect the bond order so அதனால் IR stretching frequency will be as it is it will be increased now இதே bonding molecular orbital இந்த electron எடுக்கிறேன் அப்பேனாம் bond order கொரையும் so bond order கொண்சா bond strength is reduced if bond strength is reduced stretching frequency is also reduced so O double bond O the stretching frequency is reduced in this case so this is our information in the spectrum
So next HCl molecule pakla. So HCl molecule na maybe here thala. So their bonding electrons maybe represent mala non bonding and anti bonding ei thamar represent panla. So inga parunga UPS spectrum of HCl shows two bands below 21.2 to electron volt which is found experimentally. So on the spectrum adha na inga pakro. Inga parunga onnu vandu sharp peak kudugudi because of the removal of electron from non bonding orbital. So anala we get a sharp doublet with no progression which is a pair of weak satellite. But the other band paranga we have a long progression with the frequency of thousand six hundred and ten centimeter inverse that is reduced stretching frequency. Yana bonding orbital erkra electrons are removed panirko so bond R is decreased. So bond strength is decreased, therefore the stretching frequency is also decreased. So therefore the progression is due to ionization from HCl bonding molecular orbital. So hence we have two bands in HCl spectrum. One is the bonding molecular orbital, in one non-bonding electrons. Okay, let us move on to the fourth molecule that is the water molecule. So, this is the water molecule or the molecule orbital diagram. So, we have the labelings here for each orbital. This is the number of homo that is the non-bonding molecular orbital and the number of bonding molecular orbital. Now, so, this is the electronic configuration. 2A1 square, 1B2 square, 3A1 square and 1B1 square. This represents the electrons. Now, Koopman theorem. So, Koopman theorem I will discuss in later videos about the the uh, about it detail in detail so now so the first paranga is the energy now or suppose ionization energy apply pan in the non bonding electron and remove panabina who will get the non bonding electron and the remove panama mena patho will get a sharp peak with no progression so other than a spectrum lad to the kadeke pole so it then in a paka mudio ये पारंगा, so one b one, correct आ, so अदर नम्बर non bonding, so अलग नंदे electron remove पन्ना, I get a sharp peak, this is और band, now next पारंगा आठ तो दे, इधर नंदे electron है ना remove पन रहा, bonding molecule orbital, so bonding molecule orbital नंदे electrons remove पन रहता है, so इधे इधे, so इधर लाभ दे remove पन रहता है, नाले ना आगो, I'll get a little broad peak with progression, so ultimate आ पता है, it will result in a type of multiplet. Okay, so paranga, so 3A1 and 1B2. So other bonding molecular orbital, other than the electrons are removed and rare. So I get a little broad spectrum with broad peaks with progression. So in a paranga, the third band, in the third band, the third band. The third band is due to the removal of the electron from non-bonding molecular orbital. Therefore, it appears as a sharp peak with no progression then the first and second band paranga so idu edanaala varudhu the first and second band is due to the removal of electron from bonding molecular orbital at different ionization energy so adanaala it appears as a broad peak similar to a multiplet with progression so onume illa namba first rendu basic assumptions eduthom liya so and assumptions vechi neenga oru oru molecule ku adoda molecular orbital diagram vechi adoda spectrum avungalaala analyze panna mudiyum so let us discuss our last molecule. So this is our CO molecular orbital diagram. So this is our HOMO which is a non-bonding electron and then we have bonding electron and anti-bonding electron. So if we remove the non-bonding electron, I will get a sharp peak. In the bonding molecular orbital, I will get a little broad spectrum with a progression. So bonding molecular orbital the electron remove bond order decreases, therefore bond strength decreases and stretching frequency of C O also decreases. Anti-bonding length remove and so bond order is not affected, so stretching frequency will be increased. So at the number spectrum la pakro. Okay, C O order spectrum, so the electronic configuration is written here. Then either each orbital and then electrons remove and paranga non-bonding length remove and then I get a sharp peak. Then bonding and anti-bonding length remove and then I get a broad spectrum like this. So totally we have three bands in the spectrum. So either pole ninga ungal kenna na molecules la pudikumo. So on the all molecules ko ninga na panla na. अदर मॉलिक्यूल ऑर्बिटल वारण जिते, देन अदर लेन्दो ओरो ओरे पार्ट नॉन बॉन्डिंग, बॉन्डिंग, एंटी बॉन्डिंग अलेन्दो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिमूव पन रहता पोरते, उंगलाले एल्ला मॉलिक्यूल को यूपीए स्पेक्ट्रम में वारे ये मुड़ियो, एंड अदर पति एक्सप्लेनों पन्ना मुड़ियो। थैंक यू गाइस, थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग द वीडियो।